What's up, guys? There are three things you absolutely must do in your warm-up to get the most out of your workout. And I bet you're probably not doing these, or at least the full extent of these, that you need to be doing now. So, number one is foam rolling before you start your workout. You've got to be doing it. A lot of people think that foam rolling is there for injury or there for soreness. I hear a lot of people say, hey, I don't need to do it. I'm not sore. We don't do it for soreness, guys. We do it to break up tight muscle tissue. Over time, your body develops adhesion to the muscle group. Now, tell you what that is. Your muscles should look like this. They are fiber strands that kind of cross over each other. Over a period of time, they start getting knotted up. When you're sitting in weird positions in a, long, in a car for a long period of time, they get knotted up. You cannot stretch that. It don't move that way. So you have to break that tissue up, stretch it, then it's a full function muscle again. And how you do that is before you work out, you get on a foam roller and you move around. We call it seek and destroy. So if there's a little area that kind of feels like a bruise, this is slightly painful, it's not gonna be comfortable. When you find that, you have to roll over that enough till you break that tissue up. Now, if you wanna find out more specific about how you need to do foam rolling, you can click the link below and I have an extra video for you for that. The second thing that you gotta be doing is dynamic movements. So if you are bending over, touching your toes, doing jumping jacks, that's not really priming you up to get a full body workout in, right? There's only hitting a couple things. It's better than nothing, yes. But, you know, you really want to be moving into a stretch versus doing a static stretch. So what I'm talking about is a dynamic movement like this right here. I'm hitting a lot of different stuff. I'm hitting this hip flexor, this glute, this hamstring, this lower back, the thoracic rotation right there, the shoulder. There's a lot of stuff going on with that movement. So you notice I'm constantly doing it. So I'm moving into a stretch versus just bending over, doing one muscle group and stretching that out. So you're getting your body ready to work. You're working on stability, balance, and moving into a stretch all at the same time. I'll give you another example of a dynamic move. So right here, I'm pulling on my rotator cuff. I'm dropping into this hip, so this inner thigh is working. I'm standing up, releasing, and this, and this way I'm pushing, and then hitting that other inner thigh. So I'm just back and forth. So this is a dynamic move. I'm hitting a lot of stuff that you're not gonna hit if you're just you know, grabbing your ankle and pulling up. It's gonna take you forever to get all those muscle groups moving. And you're not really warming up, you're really just doing a static stretch, which is not doing a lot. And the third thing you wanna be doing is focusing on your breathing. So a lot of people, they just, they're just warming up, thinking about what they're doing for the workout. You really gotta be controlling your breath and your breathing. So when you are going into a stretch, like for instance, the one I was doing earlier, you wanna be taking a deep breath in, and then exhaling as you are getting deeper in the stretch. You can do a test real quick right now. You can bend over, touch your toes, stand up tall, take a deep breath in, and exhale. As you're going down, you'll notice you'll get three, five, six, seven inches deeper. And what, the reason why that is your neuro programming that's controlling your muscular system, it's, it's sending an inhibitory signal to tell your body to relax, to tell your nervous system to relax. And that's why you're able to get deeper in that stretch a lot easier. So, three things, foam rolling, dynamic movements, and you gotta be focused on your breathing while you're doing your warm up. Add those in, and you are gonna crush your workout and get the most out of it.